Well, we're in my basement. I've got a little odd job to do, and we're going to try and take care of that right away. Uh, the issue that we have is that we're on a well system here, and so we our water gets pumped in, and uh, the pressure is fluctuating too rapidly. So let's have a look at the pressure tank. <laughs> In order for us to check the pressure of the tank, we're going to have to shut off the pump. And that's usually done over here. And we just turn off the pump right here. Boom, pump's off. I hope the pump's off. I'm going by memory knowing that it's on my breaker panel. And then I'm going to go upstairs here and I'm going to sh turn on the water. And let the water run until the pressure drops to about zero. This could take a while. A nice sink, actually. Remember when we put this sink in? It's very adorable. It's kind of cute. And that's when you get the zero. All right, so we brought our water pressure down to zero. And... We're going to take off this top cap here, and here we have a we have a needle valve, and this valve is uh, same as what's in your car to fill up the tire, basically. We're going to put a gauge on that, and we're going to see what the pressure is. And this pressure here is reading at just over 10 psi. Now, when you set your water pressure, some people are setting it uh, 30 to 50 where 30, 30 PSI is when the pump kicks on, and 50 PSI is the maximum pressure of your water in your house. Um, out here, because we have two stories, mine is set at 40 PSI to turn on, and 60 PSI uh, is maximum pressure. So we're gonna set the air pressure in the tank to a, to a, a couple of PSI less than the turn on pressure. So if I have a turn on pressure at 40 PSI, I'm gonna be putting 38 PSI of air into here. So I got my compressor here and I'm just gonna fill it up. And I'm up to about 36 PSI. Thirty-eight. So if I really want to look at the pressure, I can look at this gauge right here and see what that one's telling me. That one's saying it's at 42, 42 PSI, and I want to bring it down to 38. So I'm going to let a little bit out of the tank. Until this is reading just under 40. And there we have it. So now when I go back and turn on the, uh, the uh, well pump, it's going to kick in and my pressure is going to pretty much stabilize. So I turned on the uh, pump and you can see it was very quick. And it's up now, it's up to 62 or 63 PSI, which is my normal operating pressure. So now, with enough air pressure in that tank, the pressure in the tank will push the water through the lines and it will reduce the wear and tear on the well pump, which won't have to cycle on and off 
as often. I'm going to put the cap back on. And that's basically how you uh, fill the air and pressurize your system. So now it's going to run for a little while longer. And that about wraps it up for today. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you do. Uh, send me some comments, some suggestions on what you'd like to see on odd jobs. Because the kind of work that we do here, we're into everything. Uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.